as though the title of this video, I bet, is something you never thought you would see from me, but eyeliner. Who knew? I actually am quite fond of it these days. I think I've just found the right products. I've had a bit of practice and I can kind of get through with just using two or three cotton buds, which is actually pretty good for me because before I would always attempt it and just have to start again from scratch. Now, if you're looking for a very professional how-to eyeliner video, this is not it. This is more one girl and her eyeliner and a celebration of the fact that she can semi-do it. So it's like a mini makeup tutorial of just my favourites that I'm using at the moment. So it's going to be very simple on the skin, nothing else really on the eye aside from the eyeliner, and then a very natural nude lip. I'm going to start things off with the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I have the shade 125 in this and I'm going to apply it with my new brush that I got the other day and I'm loving it very, very much. It's from Bobbi Brown and it's their full coverage face. I'm going to use this foundation because I'm doing a semi-filming face here because I'm going to film a video after this. But normally on a day-to-day -day basis I would just use something like this. It's the Laura Mercier Oil-Free Tinted Moisturiser and I use the shade Nude in that. So I'm not going to go too crazy with the Makeup Forever. I'm just going to do one dollop and see where it gets us. Pop a bit on each cheek and then just blend it in. This brush works so quickly and it's very soft indeed. Got to go down the neck as always. I've used this foundation in videos in the past and it is just amazing for when you want a really flawless base. It just does it so quickly with such a small amount and it still looks natural, it doesn't look cakey or too matte. Okay, so I'm pretty chuffed with that, so I'm gonna move on to concealer, and it's not the NARS Creamy Concealer. I know, hold the phone. I'm gonna use this, it's from Laura Mercier, and it's their Secret Camouflage. I have this in the shade SC3, and here you have a lighter, more yellowy shade, and then a more pinky shade. And I would have never used this for under the eyes, I would only ever use it for on my cheeks if they got a bit red, or for spots, which it's incredible for. But I had a revelation recently when I purchased this brush. It's from Laura Mercier again, and it's their finishing eye brush. It's like a duo fiber brush, and it just blends the product in beautifully. So I'm gonna kind of take a mix of both of the colors, just a tad, and then just blend that in under the eye. It's very soft as well, so it's a really non-tuggy way of applying your concealer. But look at that, I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera, but it just brightens, there's no cakiness, just warms up the product beautifully. I wouldn't normally pay so much attention to concealer under the eyes, but I do think when you're gonna do a little flicky flick, it's quite nice to have it very bright underneath there. Moving on to powder, and for that I'm gonna use this from Bourjois, and it's their Healthy Balance Powder, and I have the shade 51. And I am going to take that on a NARS Kabuki brush. I actually really like this powder. It's very comparable, I think, to the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. It's just very subtle looking, non-cakey, colours a good match. Bloody bee. I think I'm going to go in with a bit of bronzer, and for that I'm going to use this from Soap and & Glory, and it's their solar powder, and inside you get like a kind of more honey shade and then a more darker bronzy shade. I'm just going to swirl those together with this brush, which is my new love. This is the world's softest brush, the Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush. Who knew? It's, it's beautiful. I've been using it for basically anything face powdery, bronzer, blush, highlight, contour, the whole shebang. Just dusting off that on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to swirl this onto my cheeks, forehead, generally everywhere, just to warm things up. I'm feeling sufficiently bronzed and I think I'm just gonna finish off the face with a bit of contouring, the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in medium. It's gonna happen and for that I'm using, <laughs> there's a bloody bee. I'm gonna take it on the Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush again because it's a nice size and it just blends really nicely so I'm just taking that under the cheekbone. Come on cheekbones. You can do it. I'm just gonna move straight on to brows and for that I'm gonna use the trusty Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. If you wanna hear more about my brow routine, see some really embarrassing pictures of me, I will link up a video that I did recently below. But I just take that through any sparse patches to beef them up a bit. Before we move on to the all important set, I am quickly gonna dust a bit of the bourgeois powder that I used earlier all over the eyes using the Bobbi Brown Eye Blender. Can you tell I had a bit of a Bobby Brown brush all recently. I'm just dusting that all over the eyes and actually slightly underneath as well. But this should stop any smudging or moving of the eyeliner later on. 
things just got a bit up close and personal. <laughs> so I've come a little bit closer so hopefully you can see what I'm doing and for the eyeliner I'm going to use this from Tom Ford and it is their eye defining pen in the shade 01 Deeper. I've done a whole post on this, I will link it below. It's bloody good stuff. On the one side you have quite a small miniature nib and then on the other you have a slightly longer one. It's still very thin, very easy to manoeuvre around and I normally start off with the smaller one and I do the actual line with the smaller one and then I use the longer nib to draw the flick and a few things to point out before I start this. I've got my mirror down here and it's slightly tilted up which is not the most flattering angle to look at yourself but very handy when you're applying eyeliner. I also have a mini bottle of Bioderma nearby and cotton buds. So if you're a bit of an eyeliner noob like me, these are all essentials that you should definitely make sure you've got before you start. And my hands have just started to shake, which is what happens every time I'm about to apply eyeliner. So I'm just going to get in and do it. And with the slightly shorter side, I'm just going to start the line. And I normally start it where my iris of the eye begins, because if I go all the way in, I have quite small eyes and not a lot of lid space, and it just closes things up. So I try and start around here. Keeping it very close to the lash line, and doing quite small movements. Uh, that's not too horrendous. I feel like when you are very well practiced and you're a bit of an expert, you literally just draw the line in one. But for beginners, I find that just adding onto it is the best way to do it at the moment. I think I'm going to go and attempt a flick now with a slightly longer side. And the guideline that I find best to go by is your outermost eyelashes because when they're curled, they almost create that flick for you so you know where they should be. So I'm gonna kind of go by that. I'm gonna do it. Ah! I've committed. There is a line there. It's not too long, okay. Then I'm just gonna do that thing that everyone says that you should do. Join it back. Before I make my judgement as to whether this flick is going to stay and if it's right, I'm going to do my other eye first and then begins the long task of just matching them up. Talking whilst doing your eyeliner is basically impossible. How do the Pixie sisters do it, seriously? Hmm... Not sure. <laughs> way to get them to look as symmetrical as you can, which let's face it, they're always going to be sisters, not twins, like your brows, and that's completely fine, is to get as close to a mirror as you can and just go in with like the tiniest, tiniest amount of product that you can and just to match them up that way and to look ahead and look at both eyes at the same time and you'll sort of get as close as you can. I am going to go in with one cotton bud, which I don't think is bad, one cotton bud. That's all right. Only because on this side, I came slightly above the line that I wanted to. So it's a tiny, tiny amount. Now things at this point might be looking a little bit strange because I don't come all the way in. So all of a sudden this line just starts halfway across my eye. And the way to disguise that is to tight line, which is to put some kind of liner on the inside rim of your eye, which sounds disgusting, looks disgusting, is disgusting, but actually works really nicely at finishing the whole thing off. So I'm gonna take the Urban Decay All Nighter Eyeliner ultra intense, this is the black shade. And I'm just gonna take that on the inner rim of the eye. Oh my God, that is gross. But I'm gonna take that all the way in, which sort of joins that up a little bit better. Oh, it tickles, it tickles, it tickles. Then of course you gotta finish that off with some mascara. I've got the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Waterproof Mascara here. And I'm just gonna put that on Focusing more on the outside lashes and this just finishes things off nicely. I really like this mascara actually, you get a lot of volume out of it and it's waterproof so it holds a curl nicely. And I appear to be making more of a mess out of that than I did the eyeliner. What is happening? For lips I've got a few options here but I think I'm going to go for the Maybelline Colour Sensational Shine Gloss in the shade Glorious Grapefruit because I like it, it's got a nice coral tinge to it. 
So there you have it, how I tackle eyeliner, and that is definitely not the most professional video I have ever done, but hey, you know me, and if it has inspired a fellow eyeliner noob out there to pick up a pencil and give it a go, then that makes me very happy. We can do this together, practice makes perfect, and all of that, and the Tom Ford eyeliner is annoyingly very good. So I hope you like this video, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on Tuesday for another weekly vlog. Bye.